First Nations people don't mean anything, really. In a Saskatchewan school gymnasium, residential school survivors and their families told their stories to Archbishop Don Bolin. I went to all of those types of schools. They put that fear of God in me. One man described what happened when he asked his relatives about their experiences. I can hear the shame and the guilt and the pain. I had to stop because it was affecting me as well. Archbishop Bolin was asked to come hear these stories from those forced to attend St. Philip's Residential School run by the Catholic Church. We know that the schools, you know, took you away from your families. We know that you're on a, a long healing journey. We want to walk with you to help in any way we can. After the meeting, some of the survivors went back to the site of the former school and cemetery on the nearby Kisikus First Nation. Every time you drive down the highway, something reminds you of that, what you went through. Like when I drive through the, to St. Philip's that way, I just look here and I, it brings tears to my eyes. One elder called Boland's visit a first step, but said there are many more to take. We're living on board time and we're going to make it happen soon. Yeah, we're going to be meeting with, uh, with the churches next week and we're going to get them involved in this and we're going to be demanding action from them. Survivors issued a list of demands for Boland to take to his fellow bishops and to the Vatican. Pay the full $25 million promised to survivors back in 2005, release all documents of residential schools, and have the Pope come to Canada to apologize. Jason Warwick, CBC News, Kisikus First Nation.